What's going on everybody? Welcome back to JBox Studios, your home for reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. Anyways though, we're jumping over to VOD to watch this new kind of horror thriller directed by one of the Francos, Dave Franco, and it is called The Rental. Two couples on a weekend getaway grow suspicious that the host of their seemingly perfect rental house may be spying on them as things escalate into something far more sinister. So is this worst vacation ever a must see this weekend? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of the rental if you've already seen this one or very much looking forward to it. Now let's get into some of the good. So the rental isn't your typical horror film or thriller. It obviously has some like physical elements that are frightening and whatnot. But I think the core of this movie that makes it such a frightening thing is the way that people's relationships play out. It's looking at someone who they used to be, who they are now, have they changed relationships, almost the the faults that people have made in their past, how that reflects on someone or how that imprints someone or it is it possible for people to change? It's me being vague here, but it's very much almost this elevated thinking of Okay, there's horrors out in the world that are physical, something might stab me, but there's these emotional or mentally taxing things that could be far more dangerous and tolling on someone than those things. I'm, I'm being vague, obviously, but it is a fascinating way that Dave Franco and everyone else was able to play that into this horror movie to have that extra wrinkle that plays in with the tension and tone because, like I said, there might be a killer or there might be a mystery afoot, and that's scary. But the way that these people are going on, they're supposed to be this fun weekend getaway, but they're walking on eggshells, not to step on each other's feet and not to bring up a sore subject to essentially ruin a relationship or ruin the weekend for everyone else. So again, the way that they tied, honestly, I've been on a vacation like this. The way that they tied this together was eerily relatable. And I think it's because of the performances of Alison Brie, Dan Stevens, Sheila Vand, and Jeremy Allen White. I think that the way that these two couples and the way that they dealt with each other was the chemistry worked very well. It looked like brothers and significant others going on a weekend. And the relationship, the kidding, the jokes and everything, they flowed well off of each other. And I thought that they perfectly portrayed how someone is hiding something, someone is terrified, someone is caring for someone, but really not entirely caring for them. So I thought that their portrayal in this quick, less than 90 minute movie of kind of ramping up the horror, thriller, and personal elements between one another worked very well. And not only that, but the humor is very subtle in this movie that ties in again with that chemistry of all of these actors and actresses and it played into that fun vacation getaway i mean there's elements of them just kind of like saying bro in all of these like absolutely and stuff like that there it's them you know going in the hot tub it's them being on drugs and kind of pretending to do something to someone else and then uh Reveal that isn't the reveal, but they even kind of point out that that's what the reveal should be because that's how typical horror films work. I don't know. I'm getting in the weeds, obviously, but the subtle humor that is peppered throughout this script, along with the way that they portrayed it and really delivered that dialogue, played into the fun nature of this weekend getaway. However, this quick 90-minute, a little bit less than 90-minute horror movie thriller, it just... It had a little bit of skewed logic. It fell into that trope of a horror movie and people doing things that you wouldn't think a normal, rational person would do. I'm not going to get into the specifics, but there's certain, certain things that you're like, come on, if you didn't do this, then you wouldn't fall down this path and lead into all of these other events. I think that the logic of these characters was a little bit flawed. The portrayal, they seemed like normal, everyday people that I could relate to. But then when they're making these decisions, I was like, come on, a person in this situation would not do that. And I think that there was that something missing. I mean, it was a great appetizer. It was a great side salad, main course, but the dessert, they basically just gave me a handful of mints. So I think that they were building something that they could have really made into something grand. Like the rental could have been something grand but I think that they forgot how to really finish this, the way that they started it, the way that they pieced all of these little kind of hints and tips along the way. It just unfortunately ravels out into a generic trope-filled finish in about the last 15, 20 minutes. 
for myself. Overall, The Rental is a movie and story that a lot of people, a lot of couples going on bad vacations, I think can relate to. With it again featuring this relatable story with the tension and tones really matching that with performances and subtle humor that was very fun, but with that something something missing and some skewed logic along the way, I would recommend checking out The Rental. I mean, this isn't a must-see rush out there, but if you have some extra time, you have a date night this Friday, this weekend, rent this, have some fun with it, you know, maybe you have an argument after the fact, but this is a, you know, a nice, fun, bad vacation weekend getaway movie. In closing, I'm going to give the rental 3.3 out of 5 The Go-Go's songs. So what did you guys think of The Rental? If you've already seen this one, or very much looking forward to this new thriller directed by Dave Franco. I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways, though, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there or right over there. You know, brand new content every single week here on the J Buck Studios channel. I have no idea what's coming this weekend, but, you know, this weekend there's always going to be a new live Q&A, so stay tuned for that. Follow all of my social media, like this video, subscribe to the J Buck Studios channel, and until next time... We'll see you later.